Welcome back to the channel everybody, and in this video I'm going to teach you the best methods to get max gold fast in Fortnite Chapter 5. So recently the EMP stealth camo was added to the game. Some item makes you go invisible and then when you discharge it, it creates an EMP blast and it's on a 30 second cooldown. So you can use this near the vending machines over and over and over and over again and just keep farming gold from it. Also, you can just use EMP grenades and throw them at the vending machines to farm gold. But what's even better is if you hire the Steel Sight Supply Specialist NPC. You can find her over at Rebel's Roost. She only costs 200 gold. Now this NPC supplies you with ammo and she can also drop EMP grenades. She has a higher chance to drop them if you are holding that item in your hand. She can also drop your shockwaves as well. As you can see in this clip, I was EMPing the machine and she just dropped me another stack of EMPs. So for those 60 EMPs I threw at the vending machine, I got a total of 800 gold. So as you can tell, if we divide that in half, that would be 400, so she really does pay for herself. And there's another NPC that you can utilize to get max gold quickly. The Dara NPC. You can find her in this little house near fencing fields. She costs 250 to hire and will consistently heal you, and she has 6 stacks of EMPs for sale for 150 a stack. So that's 900 gold for a total of 18 EMP grenades, or 1,150 gold if you also hire her as well. So while this does cost you a little bit of gold, you always get way more back than you put in. So here's how the strategy goes. You show up and you buy her, and then you can jump in a car, because there's usually one in front of the house, and then you're going to want to drive across the lake to the gas station. I'll mark it here on the map so you can see which one I'm talking about. The reason why I recommend going to this gas station is because it's usually less populated than if you were to go to the vending machine at Fencing Field or Risky Reels, for example. Once you're there, just keep throwing the EMPs at the vending machine and collecting your gold. Make sure you take a little break in between each toss, otherwise sometimes it won't work. Also, if you're playing builds mode, you can simply build cover, so you're not getting shot at if someone does show up. If it's at zero builds, you can use porta bunkers, or you can go inside the gas station and break the wall behind it, and then throw the EMPs at the back of the vending machine from inside the cover of the gas station. So I started with around 2,300 gold when I started throwing the EMPs at the machine here. And when I was done, I had 4,800. Plus you also have to remember I spent 1,150 to hire the NPC and to buy these EMPs as well. So that's pretty crazy. But now don't leave yet because there's still even more to this video and even better method to make sure you can really get max gold quickly. I'm just going to go over a few things first. Don't forget to like, subscribe, or drop me a comment if you found this video useful so far as well. So I'm sure you all know that if you check cash registers or find these safes around the map, that they also can award you some gold for searching them. So you're going to want to also make sure that you always land at spots that have these items for you to search. Now here's a tip for my no-build friends. So the washing machines, if you break them, can also drop you gold. Build players might know this as they're always breaking things, but zero build players may not. Also, same thing goes for the couches. Hitting the bounty board whenever you see one also will award you 100 gold if you manage to kill that player that you put the bounty on. Every time you kill an enemy player in Battle Royale, they also drop you 15 gold. You can also farm gold this way by playing Team Rumble. The Grey Guards at the Mythic Vaults and the Forecast Towers also drop 12 gold when you eliminate them, and the Red Guards will drop you 175 gold. You can also find these Red Guards at some of the mini vaults around the map too. And what's inside these vaults other than more gold and chests, which also can contain gold. If you want to know where all the mini vaults are or all the cash register safes are, you could use the website fortnite.gg. And now, because you made it this far, I'm going to share the ultimate strategy, and that is to do a gold run in a Fortnite bot lobby. I'll have a link in the description below teaching you how to access bot lobbies in Fortnite. So once you're in a bot lobby, what you're going to want to do is land at fencing fields, quickly hit the slurp truck so you have full shields, run and hit the bounty board, and then start killing all the guards, all the players that are around there, and then get into the vault. Make sure you pick up Nisha Striker, it's the only weapon you're going to need. In this vault, you can break the floor to farm all the gold very quickly. You're going to want to make sure you're picking up items such as EMP grenades, the stealth camo, EMP, and mobility items so you can get around the map quickly. Afterwards, rotate over to the Dara NPC and buy her out of EMPs and over to another vending machine. 
then simply just check your map, see where Storm's going, and choose another vault, or another place where you know you get a lot of gold from, and just keep going for that gold. Because that's the only reason why you're playing a bot lobby to begin with. If you don't want to do this in a bot lobby, then just simply incorporate these tips into your everyday gameplay, and you should always have more than enough gold in Fortnite Chapter 5. That will be all for today's video. I'm Big Papa Spur 487, and I'm out of here, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and to have fun gaming. Bye! Thanks for tuning in.